next guest tonight is a stand-up comedian and former field producer for The Daily Show. Her latest comedy special is Soft Focus with Jenna Friedman. Please welcome back to The Late Show, Jenna Friedman. Nice to see you again. It's so nice to be here, Stephen. The the last time we were together was on election night of 2016. Mm. It was live, and it was just so memorable. It was a night. It really was. Yeah. It really was. I still wake up, you know, in a cold sweat sometimes, mm. going, no, it really happened. How, how, how have you been in the last two years? Well, it's nice that you sleep, so that's cool. Sure, yeah. Well, I'm... edibles are legal many places now. You know, it's been an interesting two years. It's been weird to watch a, a foreign power meddle in our election, because uh, that's like America's thing. <laughs> mm -hmm. I want to sure. add, though, that yeah. it's cool that I can make fun of America without fear of going to jail, mm -hmm. as of now. <laughs> but, mm -hmm. you know, so that was weird. I mean, it's been, how are you, how are you? Oh, I've just, I'm physically fine. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, we, we, because Donald Trump sort of sucks all the oxygen out of the, the news every mm -hmm. day, and we, we, we don't break news, we just talk about what people are talking about every day. We end up talking about the president a lot. Uh, has he affected your life professionally at all? You know, I'm very lucky to not be uh, a person who has been affected by him yet. To, you know, I'm not un undocumented and... Ha-ha. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> and I'm sure women won't be affected at no, all. No, women sure. are. I, look, I mean, uh, the shutdown has been really scary. What are we... What, do we have, like, a, a pop-up government now? Like, what is this <laughs> thing that we have? It's scary. Sure. In a week, it's just going to be Halloween decorations. Sure. I mean, I, I've been, like, it's scary to fly. I, I had to fly during the shutdown, and, like, um, I don't love flying when air traffic controllers are being paid. Um, <laughs> so it was scary. Uh, fortunately, I felt safe on the plane because I was able to bring my gun. So <laughs> that was fun. All right, because you just sail through. Yeah. They're just two or three. Mm -hmm. Have you, um, I, I've actually, I've, I actually met the president a couple of times, had him on here once, and met him sort of, you know, Which off campus a few times. Uh, we had them fumigated. And... Uh, but have you met the man? You know, I had an encounter where I was working on a film uh, called Undecided the Movie. It's on iTunes. This, and... I have a photo here. Is that, is that what this yes, refers to? That, uh, yes, I, I, I have an, a thesis that the best way to get rid of a narcissist is to ignore them. And so um, it didn't work, but I tried. <laughs> Uh, so, yeah, that's... Um, What's happening in this photo? Uh, I'm behind him. You're on stage with him. Yeah. And I... No one called me, but I just decided to get up and pretend <laughs> that I was on the phone. So you stood up behind him and talked on a cell phone that no one was talking to you on just so you looked like you were ignoring the President of the United States? You can call him president, you can call him Russian asset. There are so many terms we can use. Mm -hmm. Now, um, you, you're the show, Soft Focus with Jenna Friedman, um, it, you are back out on the road, because we, we were on the, we both worked at The Daily Show, where you go out there and you get out of your comfort zone uh, yeah. so often when you're interviewing people. Um, you'll just sort of go into some place and you don't know what their, necessarily their concerns are and you have to sort of get your story. Have you been out of your comfort zone recently? Well, I was in my comfort zone when I interviewed John McAfee. Um, he's running for president. I think he... Uh... Is he? Yeah. That's why I interviewed him, because... John McAfee is running for president? Yes. The guy, the, 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 the cybersecurity yes. guy who's exiled himself to Belize yes. or something, and he's got a private army well, with guns yes. and... He's running for president. Um, he's also an alleged sex offender, but I think that might <laughs> make him more likely to win. <laughs> I do think, though, we need to do a better job at reaching across the aisle. Sorry, I guess it's a wall now. Just punching through the wall and connecting with, with uh, Republicans, you know, yes. like uh, ha finding mutual common ground. Like, I have been doing some soul searching and I'm like, you know what? Like, I get Republicanism. Like, it's what I tell people I am so that they'll walk away from me at parties. <laughs> 
And we just, quiet time is important, you know, but also, I think they get a bad rap with women, but they support us in some ways. Mm -hmm. Like, they always pay for sex. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You never yeah. get it for free. Yeah, yeah. Credit where credit is due. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did McAfee have a gun when you talked to him? He had a gun and he was drinking. You guys should watch it. Soft Focus. It's on Adult Swim. It's my dream show. I hope you all get to see it. Um, thanks. Jamie, thank you so much for being here. I'm so grateful to have you back after the after what you had to go through the first time. It was my pleasure. You can see Soft Focus on AdultSwim.com. Jenna Freeman, everybody. We'll be right back.